So essentially, you'll notice that in four out of these five, what is one word that is showing up in all of these? We've got pre, alphabetic, partial, alphabetic, full, alphabetic, consolidated, alphabetic, <laughs> and then automatic. So these stages are set up basically, and they're tested. This is a tested theory, basically saying that kids move in their development of recognition from pre-alphabetic, meaning they do not use letter sounds to read words. They, they might use letters, so that if they have the word look, they might just kind of seize a very unique element of that word, the OO, and go, oh, that must be look, right? But they don't know that the OO is representing the U uh sound in that word. And of course, that doesn't hold up very long, does it? I mean, it's natural and it happens. That's how kids learn their name. That's how they learn McDonald's. You know, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It just doesn't hold up for very long because eventually you're going to encounter book and took and shook and all these other OO words. And if your only way of memorizing the word is to use the two O's, that's just not going to work. Memorization is not what phonics is about. Phonics is about learning the system so you don't have to memorize. In the partial alphabetic stage, kids will use usually a beginning sound to help them remember the the word. And that's a great first step. It's okay. It's not going to get you very far, but at least we know why we're learning those letters. Full alphabetic is, bam, I can decode an entire word. I can push through that vowel. I can do cat, cat, cat. Huge milestone for kids. Consolidated is, okay, I'm not doing everything left to right. I am grouping together things in the word that group hang together. So, for example, I can't read a word like seat just left to right. S -a -it. I can't do that. I have to group the EA together. If I'm reading a word like like, I have to use, some people call it a semaphore, like which is the, si the silent E signals, the, the long vowel. Yeah. What about a word like pretreatment? Would I go left to right? No, how do I approach pretreatment? My, my studio audience, how would I do that? Prefix, suffix, base word. So kids don't decode every word the same way. We've, we've got so much focus on that left to right, you know, blending, very important, huge milestone, but not enough. Yeah. And then words are automatic, right? You access words.